Well, we've been waiting to make this video all summer long and today's finally the day we're gonna be spending the night out on our floating tents. So we have about a five minute boat ride that way to our spot and then we gotta set up on land and anchor down for the night. Clouds look a little scary up up there. Land home. Nice landing. All right. All right, now blow up the whole tent. Yes. <laughs> Can I drive standing on it? Yeah. Oh, very unsteady. Lie down. Where are you gonna? Oh, cool. It's like our own little dock. It is a dock. <laughs> our platform, kind of the the main part of this whole floating tent experience is inflated. We're gonna get back in the boat and drag it out to, I think that corner over there. And then uh, we'll finish setting up the, the tent. Doc is coming with us, it's tied up. I was worried that I was gonna get soaked towing it out, but <laughs> I think it's gonna work. Well, my knot didn't hold up, but this works better anyways. Oh. <laughs> the first test. Big rollers. Easy now. Oh, oh you're gonna fall. I also don't like it hitting. <laughs> That's a lot of jet skiers. <laughs> Come to the other side. I'm holding it so it doesn't fall in the water. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's the bottom. Okay, so the bottom was stuck. We got the three. bottom was stuck. Oh. I, <laughs> I almost went for a swim. Oh shit, it's in the water. It's in the water? Yep, it's in the, the water. Oh. Come to Papa. Step. Woo! None of us fall in. That, that was a lot of words that didn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> we, none of us fell in. There you go. None of us fell in. English is hard. English is super hard. Well, we did it. In retrospect, this was so dumb setting <laughs> this part up on the water. Good news is nobody fell in the drink. Oh, we did somehow get it set up. Just we took the, the hard way. This looks pretty awesome though. Matt. Matt. You got it? Yep. When's the last time we used this sleeping bag? Back? Friend, I was on the French River for four days. Real stinky. stinky? Real stinky, probably. Lovely. Fish and Oh my god, this is like the biggest waterbed. 
of life. <laughs> Pretty nice. <laughs> Look at this view. Can't complain. Nope. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> oh, and we're drifting. Hopefully the rope doesn't break. Wow, this is pretty different. I can throw Adam right in the water when he's <laughs> snoring at night. <laughs> well, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that was not very. Uh, <laughs> in my mind, that went way very pretty. <laughs> Pretty nippy. Do you think I'm blowing up my fishing spot? What does that mean? Well, I'm scaring all the fish. Oh away. yeah, you are. Boop. <laughs> oh, that was nice. It's getting cold. I don't know how many more swims we're gonna have this year. Yeah, I should go in. Since we're on the boat, we won't be making any um, alcoholic cocktails today but I'll be making a um, mojito mocktail with a little twist with strawberry. I'm not a very good bartender, so apologies for my disorganization. Lots of mint. Very fresh. Oh, it smells nice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some strawberries. Throw a little bit of agave for sweetener. Can you squeeze? Yeah. Shake. Do you mind having a lot of mint in yours? You're supposed to strain it? Yeah, but I kind of want the strawberry puree. In All right. It. And the ice, of course. Usually you're supposed to like. Oh. <laughs> this one might be the best one. Cheers to mint. Cheers. That's pretty tasty. <laughs> We're up big waves coming in. No, no. This is gonna be a real test. Boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're moving. Uh -oh. oh gosh. Oh my god. That sucks. Dry. Yeah. Dry. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, she did it. I did it. <laughs> hey guys, just a quick interruption to today's video to introduce our video sponsor, Yoshino. In this, is the B4000 SST with a power to weight ratio up to double that of traditional lithium ion batteries and stable performance that ensures safer operation. SST gives you the freedom to work or live wherever life might take you from work sites or in our case, campsites. With 4,000 watts available at your fingertips, the B4000 SSG is perfect for home backup, recreational power, thanks to its 30 amp RV outlet, or even an off-grid lifestyle. Now, despite its 2.6 watt hour capacity, the B4000 SST charges from zero to 80% in as little as 70 minutes. Speaking of charging, you do have a few options. Come on, Chester, let's go. You have your AC plug that we discussed before, or if you're looking for a greener way to charge your battery, you have a solar option, as well as a car input option for on the go charging. B4000 also offers a smart link plug, which allows you to connect multiple batteries together. Two AC plugins, two USB plugins, two USB C plugins, including a quick charge, and two 12 volt DC plugs. Yoshina leads the industry with the lightest most compact portable power station possible, which truly makes life a lot easier. Whether you're truck camping like us, car camping, RV camping, whatever it may be, having a light power solution is super key. Big thanks to Yoshino for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the shenanigans. The good news is we weren't planning on eating fish for dinner. Tonight I'm making Cuban sandwiches. We unfortunately messed up our pork, which is kind of like the main, <laughs> the main part of this recipe. Definitely, like we overcooked it, it would turn out black. But we managed to make some pulled pork out of it, so we'll try to put that in there. Oh, it's so clean. This thing is 
fancy. Mm -hmm. We'll just prep our sandwiches and then we'll press them on the grill. Now this will be mine. I just want this loaded. I'm gonna layer the pork in between. Or should I put the pork against the sauce to make it saucy? Cheese, Swiss cheese to be exact. Now we show our very sad. It doesn't look bad like. It's just very, very dry. And they're supposed to be slices. That's the thing about these Cuban sandwiches. They're supposed to be like moist pieces of deliciously seasoned pork and we've got dried <laughs> pulled pork which is deliciously seasoned though which is deliciously seasoned you're right oh yeah all right how hard do and i press it and press but leave it pressed for a little bit i didn't put butter on the bottom you didn't no oh shit. I thought it was a cast iron. I thought you didn't have to. Oh no, you definitely have to. Can we get it off? Oh, do you have another bun? Yeah. Take two. <laughs> I don't, we heard too much of that last time. Yeah. I smelt it. I smelt the burnt right Instantly. away. Yeah. Burnt worse than the pork. <laughs> yeah, turn it off. Are things melting? Definitely. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna slice that baby in half. Mm -hmm. There we have it. Cuban sandwiches. Can't wait to eat them. While mine's heating up, Adam's gonna have the first taste. We don't look impressed. No, I am. <laughs> you can still tell the pork's dry. Yeah. But with the other ingredients and all the mustard, it definitely makes it. Do the flavors go well together? Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. It's nice. It's really nice. I think you're gonna enjoy this one a lot. What is your initial rating? I'm probably gonna go like 7.5. Okay. Maybe eight. Maybe eight. Mm -hmm. Don't be burnt. Oh yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks great. Heat her up. Nice. Oh, lucky you. Looking good. Mm. So you're ready. I agree with you. Eight? Yeah. I think it would have been way higher if we had the, the pork. Right. Yeah. It's a good first try. Mm -hmm. As big as a pain in the ass this is going to be, you can see the waves are coming into us right now. And if we just relocate right over to that side over there, uh, we'll have this big shoreline that's going to protect us from that. So we're going to anchor up and uh, head on over that way. It was a really hit of the muck. Oh. Yeah. Oh, losing it. Yeah. All right. Our house is on the move. On the move. All right, switching up to this big top water let's call it spook it's a little big uh, for what I'm trying to catch right now they'll still try to eat it the main reason I'm putting it on is because of how far I can cast it oh that's a lot better <laughs> so you can see how this lure stays on the top of the water hence the name top water how exciting is top water fishing oh, super. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, it came off. <laughs> Looks like that one bite was our only chance at a fish tonight. We'd love to catch up for you guys, but we'll give her another shot in the morning. Oh my gosh. The last thing we need to do tonight is just drop this cinder block and or <laughs> <laughs> the cinder block anchor, not antler. And this is going to prevent us from rubbing up against the boat all night. 
it's gonna be really hard to get out of the water. The center oh. block's way lighter than the anchors. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, we've shut all the windows and the one door. They're, they're all made of this reflective material, which should help keep us a little bit warmer overnight. We opted to leave the door open that's closest to the boat as a just-in-case escape route if this place starts to uh, starts to sink. Another development, uh, the weather is looking a little bit dicey. There's a 30 to 50% chance of rain starting at 6 a.m. I think it goes up to like 70 around 8. We yeah. have a small window. So we'll just have to wish us luck, hope for the best, and we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Hopefully dry. <laughs> Morning. Morning. How'd it go? <laughs> a little bit of a sleepless night, but it was comfy. It was at two different points last night, the wind randomly picked up, which it meant the tent was going like crazy all over the place and splashing we also had some visitors <laughs> at like 1 a.m in the morning we heard two men outside our tent kayaking or something yeah these dudes were canoeing across the lake in the middle of the night mm. yeah. quarter to seven still no rain and uh i think it's bright enough now we're gonna head out to the boat and uh, boil some coffee Adam doesn't like cream. <laughs> you can tell by that face. <laughs> well, I, He's a milk I, guy. I yeah, I don't not like it. I just like milk more. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's going to be hot. Well, we really wanted to avoid getting the base all wet and sandy when we put it away. So we kind of just took a little bit of air out and threw it in front of the boat. Um, and we'll take care of that when we get back to the dock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Well, I don't know how uh, practical camping in a floating tent was, but I mean, we had to try it. Definitely an experience. Yes. <laughs> and it looks like we got home just before the rain started, like literally just before. So I couldn't have worked out any better. Thank you guys for watching this one. We hope you enjoyed. And now we're gonna go hang out with Chester. <laughs> <laughs>